What is up guys, welcome back to my daily update video. This is just a video where I show you guys my progression. So a lot of you commented yesterday on my video about, you know, going like crazy pay to win. Um, I don't think I'll, I'll feel that bad if I actually do buy the crystals, but I was, what I, what I wanted to do yesterday or what I said I wanted to do yesterday was um, I wanted to buy the, the the pack and actually convert it into gold and just like immediately six stars of monsters to like progress faster. But a lot of you said that was like really really horrible, um, and I, I actually do know that's really horrible. Like the conversion rate for astro gems to gold is just a complete rip off. Um, you're probably a lot better off farming, but it, that takes a lot more time and stuff. So I'm still just gonna I'm gonna have to just work my way up. I think <laughs> just just like everybody else. Um, I think the game is really well designed. It's, it's d designed in a way where you can't really pay to win. Like if you really want to pay to win, you got to like throw in like a lot of money, not just like a little bit, you know. So players that pay don't really have that much of an advantage, um, but they do have a little bit of room to work with, which which will help me a lot like in terms of making like fun videos like in the future where I where I need um, extra resources to like six star some random monster and just you know just try it out like some off meta monster that nobody uses um, just just for the hell of it. So I recently six starred my Dark Kraken. She is she is my first six star and um, yeah I'm trying to get her to max level. It's super hard. It's it takes so much exp. Like this is this is 16 runs of like extreme mode to get her to like one level and then I have to do this like like 10 times more in order to get her to max level so I'm gonna be working on that I think while I do it I'm gonna actually finish up all my missions that I didn't do before so definitely just gonna go back and finish all the missions probably do that today um, and then I can get a reward like an egg or something and I can do that for my next summoning video so my next 6 star I'm planning to probably 6 star the Fire Arthur um, he's very very strong for for a lot of things like anything that isn't water he's basically excellent in and he, he has a hundred percent stun this is really useful and he has defense down which is also very good he's very strong in PvE very strong in PvP um, he has good stats because you know he's a nat 5 he's also a, an attacker um, and yeah he's just gonna be really really good for my team I'm mainly planning to use him for um, Golon's B10 once I get my team ready get all my 6 stars ready I'm thinking of something like Dark Sea Star Arthur, um, a healer, one of these two, and a probably some like Sapper stats slash CC. I, I'm I've been thinking that like maybe the last unit that I want to put on that team might be the Dark Hunter. I've been looking at a lot of skill sets for different monsters, and I I think his skill set's actually really really perfect. Um, he has a 70% chance to stun, which will really help your team survive the first round. Because if he stuns and my Fire Arthur stuns someone else, or even if they attack the same guy and they only stun one guy, they there's a higher chance that um, I'm going to land a stun in case the enemy resists. And then only three units are going to be attacking my team, which is, you know, good news for me because I won't be taking that much damage. And he also has sap, like, this is a, although this is only a 70% chance to sap, um, it hits target with, with two saps that last for two turns. So he's going to be able to take down the boss really, really fast. And also this skill does a lot of da single target damage to the boss. Um, his stat is defense based, so I don't think I can get his attack that high. But I, I think I, I'll do some somewhat of a hybrid build, something like um, HP, defense, crit rate or something like that. I, I was lucky or I was fortunate enough to get a square slot on him. So I'm, I'm definitely going to be able to build him with crit rate, which is really nice. And he does, you know, with him being dark, he does have 100% crit damage, which is super, super good. And I think that's pretty much it. The, the last thing I want to decide is, like, which one of these healers that I want to raise. Um, actually, I have three healers that I want to raise. But I think the mermaid, or the, the siren, might be the best one. Because, wait. Is this an evil two? Yeah, this is an evil two. Alright. <laughs> I thought she was evil one for some weird reason. Um... I'm missing exactly one more siren to make her make her um, evil three. Like I I have two sirens raised. Um, oh wait, actually I need two more sirens. My math was off. Oh wait, wait, no, no, not counting this one. This one's another one. So like I need one more, um, basically. So I have like one, two, and then I just need one more siren, and then I can raise this to evil two. 
and I can use these three to make my Siren Evil 3. Um, I think an Evil 3 Siren is definitely going to be a lot stronger than an Evil 2 Kira, but the Hana is also a very, very strong contender as well. So I'm not sure which healer exactly that I want to raise to, um, to 6 stars, but I think they're all really nice. Um, if I if I raise the siren, I can I can probably do like defense resist recovery or something like that because she doesn't need that much HP and then like maybe use like a life set or something or maybe like a resist um, yeah, yeah defense resist recovery and then use like a life set to boost her HP up a little bit and then she should be able to survive and then I can get her resist to like near a hundred percent or something like that um, or maybe like 80 90 percent um, if I have if I can use like a 5 star resist rune and just max that out and that'll help my help her not get like armor broken and stuff and she also has like a very nice um, first skill that recovers her own, her own HP so I don't really have to worry about her self sustain at all um, so I'm kind of leaning towards the raising the siren but I, I still might raise the Hana or if I happen to somehow pull like three Kuros I can just feed them all to her and make her evil too. If I can make her evil too, I'm definitely gonna be raising the Kira because she's getting a buff because the SP Siphon skill is also getting buffed. In my opinion, the skill is already really OP. I don't know why they're buffing it, but it's it's gonna be even more insane. And she she's basically a stronger version of the her first skill is like a stronger version of the fire one. Um, the fire one needs to have like crit in order to boost SP's or the 10% of allies SP bar, but she doesn't need it, so you don't need to ruin her with any crit at all. And she also has an extra 30% or extra 10% um, resist, which is really really strong. So yeah, she's she's super strong. She's my favorite monster. I I, I kind of want to raise her just for that reason, but I know it's gonna kind of hurt me because at Evil One, she's, her stats are a lot weaker than um, these two. Anyways, that's pretty much it. That's what I what I plan to do today. I'm just gonna level up, finish the quest and also make more money and prepare to make my next 6 star. So yeah, tell me what you guys think, um, if, it, if it's a good idea, if it's a bad idea. I'm really really thankful for all the advice and um, just really helpful comments that you guys write. Like I know, I know a lot of you guys put a lot of effort like just typing like really long comments explaining to me, like explaining to my dumb ass how to, <laughs> how to play this stupid game. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.